เฮ้ยแล้วเออยูเอ่มซายมอนฟรอมเลนี่โอ้ไอ้ยูฟรอมแบล็กคันทรีคัสตอมส์ดูวิโน่ยูฮัฟเลนี่เชิร์ดแต่ the pedals say black country customs did you steal black country customs pedals came here to demo them on your own free will but they don't even know that they're missing no so what's the deal then um, black country customs is a group of people tone hounds who live in a dark room in a factory and basically just build things to the hell of it And really, it's done for you know the quest for the ultimate tone. If you come up with something where, where you're like, "Hey, we can do more, more, like more people could actually like that," yeah, then you're like, "Let's do that." We all come out of the dark room. We blink in the sun a little, and oh, rain because we're from England. Or oh, duh, or yeah. we blink in the bright lights, and then we think, "Yeah, okay, that's good." So we already looked at so we already looked at the steel park and the monolith, a low gain overdrive boost and a uh, more high gain distortion. Now, which is very strange, if you ask me, for this group of people, we're looking at a reverb, because a group of people that understands fiddly bits of transistors and filaments and diodes don't necessarily know code, but that's what you would. Need to know in order to program a, re- a reverb, right? Because it's a digital pedal. So, so how do you do that? We have special code genies oh. that basically do it for us. So you, do you, they are they third party people that no. you hire? No, no, they're actually on on the team. Yeah, I think one of the things, Black Country Customs is a small group of people, but within a large company. Oh, okay. And within that, we have areas of particular expertise that we can borrow from. Okay. So, because with a lot of companies that do analog stuff and amps and pedals and boosts and all that, all of, a, a digital pedal would require someone with that expertise. <clears throat> yeah. And um, but if it's someone from inside the company, then the communication is a lot easier Correct. than hiring a third-party guy and trying to explain to him what you want. I think as well, you know, I've said this before. Tone is holistic, and <clears throat> what we think is a good tone changes on a regular basis. <clears throat> so all the way through the development process, you are continually saying, "Is that right? Is this right? Is that right?" And some days that changes. <clears throat> so in order to have the degree of input that we need to produce a pedal and amp or whatever we we're working on. You need to have people on hand the whole time. So, realistically, it's a it's a back and forth process. Um, well, um, let's see what you came up with. Um, okay. What we're looking at is the secret path, not a lisp guy pedal. The secret path. But hey, what can I do? Um, wait, you had the steel park and the monolith. These are all not made for me. We, we knew you were coming. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> so um, what we're going to do is we're going to send this into a mono setup, and then because it is l u s t e r i o as they say in Hungary, uh, we're also going to check it out and see what it does with stereo. Also, it has an expression input, which we're going to use. So uh, setup is the Tone Fox Bulldog. Her name is Blanche. You know why her name is Blanche? No. Tell me, because she's golden, golden girls. Yes, and the slutty one was Blanche. Okay, and what's more slutty than P90s? Nothing. Exactly. So her name is Blanche. Sadly, not my idea. Leslie came up with that. <clears throat> um, we're going to take Blanche into the Tone King, Sky King, which is a very Fender-esque kind of clean sound. Mm-hmm. And you're hearing that mic with the Lewitt MTP 440 and. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. <laughs> But you, let's do exactly that again. You hear that mic? <laughs> Do it, MTP 440, and the <laughs> looks like I got something to say. Yeah. And the ox above me. Um, so I'm mixing those two together. In the ox, you've got cream backs. In case you care, which you don't. It's a reverb pedal. Come on. Um, and then we're gonna go into stereo setup, and I'll tell you more about that later. So. Simon explained this to me, and I'm gonna pretend I remember what he said. We have, well, on, and if I turn that off, you see that the light slowly dims. It is a buffered pedal with tails or trails or things. It it trails it out. It fades out. The reverb doesn't cut off because yeah. who wants that? Um, so 
we have a spring, a sprue, we have a plate, which is plate, and we have a teaspoon, which I think is funny, and I'm going to continue saying that, but obviously it stands for the secret path, only that there's no the here. That's couldn't just, fit it on. Couldn't fit it on. Um, oh man, I really want to make it, I can't fit it often, and then penis, I don't want to make that joke, but it just would be inappropriate, all right? No, so we're not going to make that joke. Um, there's an edit button, which is not of any consequence right now. No. Nope. We have P for... Pre-delay. Pre-delay. V for volume, S for... Size. Size. Space. Or space. And uh, T for tone. Correct. Uh, it's not treble, it's overall tone. So yeah. it's, it's, it's like a high-frequency yeah. roll-off, right? <clears throat> okay. Yes. Um, so let's go to spring. And... I'm going to possibly stay most of the time in the back in between position because that's a stratty kind of hollow sound with a lot of low end because of the Charlie Christian. <laughs> Please notice how the LED changes color so that when you're standing up on a dark stage, you don't have to look at the position of your knob, uh, of your switch, but actually just remember the different colors, which is a nice little add-on. Costs more money, but come it's on, worth it. it's worth it. You are worth it, Tulaney Black Country Customs people. So, um, that's, that's a lot. What happened there? You changed the pre-delay. Yep. And in order to stop it blooming, I quickly just you reset quickly it. Quickly mute, mute the signal. Ah. I had a lot of size. There. <laughs> get it, get it. <laughs> Can't hear any tonal difference with the pedal on or off. That's what we want. Oh, good. So there is no kill dry. There is no all wet. That's the wettest you can get. V is not overall volume. It's only the volume of the reverb. spring of course let's let's see if it can do subtle ah, it's, got a, it's got a little yeah. the boing huh? I'm doing random notes and it's fun. play that. What are the first freaking notes? Is it that? No. Oh man! <laughs> Why can't I figure this out? I have an advanced degree in guitar stuff. But Don't not, tell me I'll surf guitar stuff. I'll, I'll always just fuck that up yeah. for you. How about that? We'll make it here more pretty. Ah. Let me, it's all good. Let me bend the neck from 62. Good idea. <laughs> That's some serious pre-delay there. That's more pronounced than in any other reverb. 
That's cool. You'll find out why later on. Okay. Let me do more. Okay. Can it be delayish? That's cool. I like that. Okay, let's be more subtle there. Can be a very subtle, yeah. just ambient thing. Don't know what I'm doing, but it's fun. Size. Is something what's going to be the street price of that uh that will be and you can't quote me on this around i'll give it you in pounds i'm afraid 179 pounds so sub 200 euro okay because i'm gonna say right now that the spring and all the options i have on the spring is worth the price of admission alone in my very short time with the pedal, I know the dude sitting there, just ignore <laughs> that. But <clears throat> my impression is there's so much you can do with this. You can push it in so many different ways. And um, with the boing and all that, um, only the spring is, is, is there. You can get it really big, <laughs> but it's also great when it's small, I tell her. It's all about how you use it with the guitar. That's great. Um, okay, we're gonna go to plate. D alone makes me happy. <laughs> if we can make the ambient fans happy. Ambient players will be very happy. Um, and now we're on Teaspoon, the secret path, which is an even bigger row, row, row room. Correct. I kind of slipped into mixo there that I, I didn't want to. Uh. Okay, okay. 
Colour me impressed. Don't know what colour that is, but... Purple. Duh. <laughs> other stuff should we go stereo yeah yeah let's go we stereo must. now so what i'm doing is let's go to the side please i'm taking this cable and putting it into the other side now i'm switching to the rev dynamis on the i'm gonna call it left side of the pedal and on the right side that's going into the rev generator 740 the 740 is going into the reload by two notes, whereas the Dynamis is going into the Torpedo Studio. The reload is going line into the other side of the Torpedo Studio. Hence, I'm only using the reload as a load box. Therefore, you're hearing the Torpedo Studio in stereo with two Lone Star speakers from Mizuboogie. That's the setup. And technically, I should hear that sound now. Wait. I also have to change caps. Ha! You couldn't follow that, but that's fine. And who would have thought that that's actually working? I mean, I knew it was a good idea. I just wouldn't have thought that actually... First time. That's, it, it's the third time now, but I don't trust it. It's no. a complicated setup, but hey, come on. It works. So, it is... Stereo in the sense that uh, it's actually a stereo reverb that bounces differently on both sides. Yeah, yeah. it's a stereo image. That is, but that's cool. Seven sus two. Um, now, what I'm going to do is go into the special mode. Not special, but special, but special. By holding in. Uh, yeah, Leslie has to show what I'm holding in. Thank you. <laughs> holding this thing in for about half an hour, I think. Oh, no, that, that's it. Yeah. Okay, now... You're in enhanced mode. Enhanced mode, not special bus mode. Okay, get that. Special bus is like when we're talking about Tom back there, yeah. because that's special bus mode. Sunshine bus. <laughs> <laughs> I think he wrote that bus quite a bit, didn't he? <laughs> we love you, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, if I hold in the edit button, yeah. my size knob will be a modulation uh, control. So let's Correct. go all the way to the bottom and show zero modulation. That's right. And now scroll back. Why do I have no high end now? No. What? You're still running in regular mode. Ah, bec because I switched? Yeah. The mode. Wait, it, what if I go back to then it remembers where it is. Ah, I can set the modes per, per. algorithm. Correct. <laughs> so oh, now, don't they have clever people in Le Breton? If you go to spring now, <laughs> okay. and press and hold the main on button for four seconds until it flashes, you're now in... By the way, that's not mode. four seconds, Simon. Well, sorry. I'm sorry, that's four seconds is one, two, two yeah. three. This is one second. All right, we made it quick. Get then. your shit together, <laughs> man. <laughs> um, okay, so now I'm in enhanced mode on Correct. the spring. Correct. Well, if I go to plate, I'm not. And you can see that because the LED isn't flashing. 
Whereas here, LED is flashing and here, LED is flashing, indicating that spring and teaspoon are both on enhanced mode. Correct. Um, so now so I hold. Press the edit. I press the edit. And use the size knob to increase the level of modulation. modulation. You'll see the LED grow brighter the more modulation you have. And more is to the left? Correct. More modulation is less on the knob. Yes. Okay. Now, now you let go, and now you and, re reset. And now it, I reset it to your size knob to where your size okay. wanted. And now you have. You know why it was so dark? Because you turned the tone on the guitar down. <laughs> <laughs> I made a boo boo. <laughs> it wasn't the pedal. No. It was me. You can yell at me, that's totally fine. Oh, that's all. Idiot. See that, that's much better. On full modulation, it's subtle. Yes. It doesn't yeah, go, yeah. Wee -oo, yeah. Wee -oo, which I know some people, especially in the ambient world, want for yeah. reasons that I don't understand because it's not very musical to go that, oh. that high up on the pitch. So it adds a little bit of a chorusing to your... It sounds more like a choir singing than a hall now, if you know what I mean, right? Hmm. It has a little bit of an uh, atmosphere. Yeah. I know you think I'm ridiculous. That's okay. So if I go less modulation. Let's press the button. Yeah. Basic, I'm trying, so here we go. And then reset that. It's almost not, um, for me, even on maximum, it's pretty subtle. Personally, the maximum should be where you go like, oh, that's a little bit too much. I, th I think it could have a little bit okay. more wobble there because anything other than maximum, I can't really tell that. I can't really tell that there's modulation. Okay. So I think that could be a little bit more severe. Um, going to plate. Yeah, that's about one second. Um, Overall quality and, and general tone of all the reverbs is beautiful. Mm. Um, definitely my taste. I, I love it. And again with the mixo. Uh, okay, now of course the pièce de résistance in enhanced mode. Uh, on the teaspoon, the secret path, um, we add shimmer by turning this to some side. Uh, yeah. I don't know which side. Left? Where's more? More is left. More is left. More which, is anti-clockwise. Which, of course, makes no sense because oh. more is always to the right, but they're smoking stuff in England. Um, let's not do A. Let's do B. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> the secret path. Yep, the secret path to happiness. Not to happiness, to happiness. Different. Um, <laughs> and yes, I know I'm not funny. Shut up! Um, I'm plugging in the expression pedal now, which in enhanced mode gives you control over whatever modulation. that does. Well, yeah. modulation, or in this case, uh, shimmer. Yeah. Right? So uh, we have a an expression pedal camera, and Leslie's on it. I mean, come on, how professional is she? That's amazing. So technically, that should give me... I mean, that's brilliant, because I love uh, Shimmer, but too often yeah. it's too much or too little. Mm -hmm. Too often it's like you're playing and you're hitting certain notes, like, oh, I wish I had that set a little bit lower. And sometimes you're like, well, where is yeah. it? Being able to control it this precisely is brilliant. Because I, wow, um, I'm looking for a chord. Let's do this one. If I go to play it, it should do modulation. Yeah, that, that's going to be my only gripe with that thing. That's not severe not enough. enough. I'm, not a, I'm not a major super wibbly wobbly modulation guy, yep. but it's like, if I'm like, is it really there? When it's all the way up, it should be just at the point where you're going like, that's unmusical. Okay. That's just a little bit too much. Yeah. Hypothetically, that's le fixable. Yeah, it's there, but it's not, it, it's, it's, subtle. it's very subtle. It's so subtle that technically I would have done that with just a switch on or off. Yeah. Because anything other than fully on is, <laughs> is yeah. why, why would you want that? Um, and if I go up here, hit the button and hit the uh, foot switch again, I'm in normal mode on the spring, which now I control uh, with the expression, the uh, in, in normal mode, not enhanced mode, I control the volume. <laughs> And the great thing is when I take it down, zero volume, and that's not volume post reverb, that's volume pre-reverb input, which means the reverb that's still play, playing carries on. So by taking down the <laughs> level, you're not cutting off your reverb, you're just cutting off the input to the reverb, which is very smart. You have people that really thought about this. You just have people that don't like a lot of modulation. Everything else, <laughs> everything else. What? what? Thank you. Tom, Tom, Tom yeah. thinks he's, he, I'm talking about him. The, the box also, by the way, is very, very pretty. Um, pedal this good doesn't need a pretty box as well. I don't know what I'm playing anymore. I don't care anymore. I'll do this. Yeah. 
You can't play fucking random notes and it's whoa. stop this right here um we've done mono works we've done stereo <coughs> works we've done expression work we've done an enhanced mode work so yeah um should this be in the 200 euro even up to 250 i'm gonna say amazing modes not overwhelming it's three plus enhanced which means on the spring and the plate you have a little bit of chorus that could be more or, or modulation um the addition of the really nicely expression controllable shimmer is amazing i'm gonna say that's technically five modes plus maybe the wait one two three that's four modes and then a little bit of modulation on two so i'm gonna call it 4.3 modes um it's easy to remember how to get to it. Hold the innie, and it remembers your modes where you have the enhanced mode, all communicated with the single LED. Really nice user interface. User interface, Simon, is where a lot of pedals fall short. Yeah. Um, this doesn't. It's also pretty blue. So, uh, that was me exploring this, and if you think I'm actually like telling you something I don't believe because he's sitting there, uh, well, then this video was pointless for you. This is a pretty mind-blowing reverb. I love the sound. If it, even if it only had the spring, it's still worth the money. Um, and the amazing soundscapes you can get with the shimmer on the teaspoon mode. Wow. And then put an expression pedal on the floor. <laughs> which, by the way, was the Mission Engineering Aero EP25, which is cool and golden. Um, thank you for coming and hanging out, Total doing pleasure. these videos. Uh, you were just sitting there being bored. I had fun. But what can you do? That's, that's what we do. Yeah. Um, these have been released now, which for us is in the future. But then again, time travel kind of shit. <clears throat> Links below. Animals at the end. That's what I say. That's what I mean. And thanks to Tom for not doing anything. I mean, why was he even, what even, drinks my coffee, sits there. He was, you, you were just growing your beard, right? That's what you were doing. You were just growing your freaking beard. <laughs> Tom from Laney <laughs> um, and Simon. Thanks for hanging out. Um, thanks for watching Animals at the End. Links below. <laughs>